you want to learn how to play custom workshop maps with your friends. Well, today I'm going to show you how to do just that. Although this is only available to PC players, consoles sadly do not have the tools needed to do workshop maps. Before we get started, there are two things you'll need. One, have Bakasman installed, and two, be able to download workshop maps from the workshop map downloader plugin. If you don't know how to do this, pause this video and go into the description to find my tutorial on how to do it. All right, to get started, go ahead and open up Bacchus Mod on your desktop and then open up Rocket League. Once it's loaded, press F2 to open up the Bacchus Mod interface and make your way over to the plugins tab at the top. In this tab, you'll find one titled Plugins Manager. Click that and then click on Open Plugin Manager. The Plugins Manager window should now pop up. And on the right hand side where it says ID, enter the numbers 26 and then click install by ID. You should now have the Rocket plugin installed and in your plugins tab of Bacchus Mod. If you can't use this method of installation, you can also install Rocket plugin through the Bacchus plugins website, which is linked in this video's description. Now, once you have Rocket plugin installed, you'll need to download the workshop textures in order for the maps to actually load. Click on the website link for the workshop textures in the description below, scroll down, and then click the blue download button. Once the zip file has downloaded, you will need to right click and extract the files into your file explorer. Open the folder and copy all the individual files and place them into the cooked PC console folder in your Rocket League directory. Your file path could look something like this, but it might not be exactly the same depending on if you're Steam, Epic, or downloaded to a custom location. Next thing we are going to need to do is download another program called Logme and Hamachi, which is a VPN service that will allow you to create an artificial LAN party that you and your friends can connect to. To download Hamachi, you will need to go to vpn.net, which is also linked in this video's description. Click on the green download button in the center of the page and follow the installation prompts. Once you have Hamachi installed, launch the program. Click on the large power button, either log in or make an account if you don't already have one. Once you are fully logged in, you can either make your own network or join one. Ah! It is important to note that the person hosting the multiplayer lobbies will need to be the owner of the network in Hamachi. Ideally, this should be the person with the best internet connection and the most centralized location to the rest of the party, since this will affect wow. server ping. What? To create a network, click on Network, create a new network, and then set a network ID and password. The ID should be a name that everyone would be able to identify the network as. For example, Miss Macho Party 01. After that, up to four other people are free to join your network. To join a network, go to Network, join an existing network, and then type in the network ID and password that the host has set. If you need more than five spots for your party, the host of the lobbies can make multiple networks, so the rest of the party can join any other network that the host makes. If you've done everything correctly, you and your friends should be able to see the network group and a list of everyone in it. Anyone that is currently online and properly connected should have a green dot next to their name. If you would like to go offline, all you need to do is click on the large power button. Now that you and your friends are connected through Hamachi's VPN service, you're ready to head back into Rocket League. Press F2, go to the Plugins tab, find Rocket Plugin, and click the button Open Rocket Plugin GUI. The next steps are for the multiplayer host. On the left hand side, you will see an option to select the arena, but by default, it only contains normal Rocket League maps. Click the Enable Custom Maps checkbox and the list should now contain any custom maps you've installed through the Workshop Map Downloader plugin. For this video, I'm going to be using a map I made called The Tall One. If you do not see a list of custom maps you've installed, you may want to check to make sure that your maps are installing to the correct location. Head over to your Workshop Map Loader plugin and click Open Plugin Window. Check to make sure the installation path is correct, which should look something like what you see on the screen. If your installation path is not correct, update it and click save so that your future maps are installed to the correct location. Ideally, move all your existing map downloads to this new location as well. If you're still not seeing your installed custom maps, open the command console in Rocket League by pressing F6. Once open, paste one of the following file paths. The default paths for Steam and Epic are shown on screen. If you have a custom download path for your Rocket League map installations, change the file path to that location. Press enter and then feel free to close the command console, reopen Rocket plugin, and your custom maps should now show up. 
Once you've got a custom map selected and any settings or mutators are set to your liking, open the Advanced Options tab and set a password for your server. Lastly, drop down the Match File Host Settings tab and then click the Start Server button. Leave the Match File Host address and the IP at default because this lets anyone joining the lobby download the map temporarily from the host so they don't have to go downloading the map for themselves. After you do all that, you can click the host button to start the match. Now the only thing that is left is for your friends to join you. At this point, your friend should open up Hamaji. Find your name in the server list, right click it, and copy the IPv4 address. Go back to Rocket League, open Rocket Plugin, open the plugin GUI, and paste the IPv4 address into the IP address box on the right hand side. Make sure to leave the port at default 7777, type in the password, and click the checkbox for joining a custom map. Once clicked, the button Request Server Status should appear. If they successfully connected, they should have the option to download the map. Once it's finished downloading, they can click Join to hop into the custom match. If you've gotten to this stage, you should now be in a custom Rocket League map with your friends and ready to have a ton of fun. Yeah, we fun. <laughs> <laughs> However, if you get an error saying content mismatch, that means they either put the downloaded workshop textures in the wrong location or they didn't have the right map file. The last thing that they can also try is restarting Rocket League in Bacchus Mod. Sometimes the tried and true, turn it off and on again, will in fact fix the problem. I hope this tutorial's help you set up to play all kinds of fun and wacky custom Rocket League maps with your friends. If you have any problems, make sure to leave it in the comments and I'll help you the best I can. Happy custom mapping.